Hey everyone, welcome to Window of Code 5. I am Avnikant Ajay, and in this video, I'll walk you through what a proposal is, how to write a strong proposal, and how to submit it correctly on, an, on our dev folio using our official uh, proposal template. And don't worry if this is your first uh, open source program, I'll explain everything step by step. So, this is our website. You can get all the information related to WOC here. And uh, here you can go, go to the organizations section. Here you can see the, the organizations listed here. Each organization lists multiple projects. Let's say I will pick uh, open printing. It will open this page. Here you can see the details related to that organization, like the text tag they use, their website link, and their GitHub link. And here you can see the mentors related to that org. So here are the projects of that organization. Project is a specific problem, feature, or improvement they want the contributors to work on. So you can pick a project here. You can see its text tag, the problem statement of that project, focus area, and the contribution guide. Make sure to go through this. Projects can be beginner friendly, intermediate, or advanced. And an important thing to remember, you are not randomly assigned a project. You, cho you choose a project based on your interests and skills. So once you get the problem statement that you would like to work on, the next part is writing a good proposal. So what is a proposal? A proposal is a personal plan for how will you work on that selected project. In simple terms, your proposal answers what is the problem statement, how will you solve it, what technologies will you use, and how will you manage your time. Mentors don't expect perfection. They evaluate uh, proposals based on clarity, feasibility, and your understanding of the project. So this is our official proposal template for Winter of Code 5. Here's what uh, you need to do first. Uh, go on the file options and uh, click on make, make a copy. Then uh, simply rename this file uh, with uh, your name as a prefix and save it in your drive. This will create a copy in your drive. Once uh, your copy of the proposal is created, you can edit this uh, document in the Google Docs. So let's go through all the sections step by step. Here you have to mention the project name and the title should immediately explain what you are building and improving. And here you have to add the organization logo here. And then you have, this section is about you. You have to fill in your details like name, email address, and other details, as mentioned here. And here is the sign off section. This section gives a short overview of your proposal. Like uh, you, you have to explain here what the project is, why it matters, and uh, what you plan to do. Think of this as a quick summary that mentors will uh, read first. Now, moving on. Now, in this section, you have to mention your project plan or the technical approach. This is the heart of your proposal. Here you explain how you plan to solve the problem, tools and technologies that you will use, any architecture or approach. You don't need to know everything. Just show that you have gone through the problem statement truly. Now, next, here you have to mention the milestones in the timeline. Here you have to break your work into weekly milestones and mention what you will complete in each week. Tentative dates, clear goals, KPIs or key point indicators. This helps mentors track your progress and see that your plan is achievable. Now here, you have to mention the deliverables. This specific outcomes that you will deliver by the end of the program. For example, features, documentation, tools, improvement. Be concrete and measurable. Now here, you have to write an acknowledgement. End your proposal with a short thank you note. Thank the mentors and organization for their time and consideration. A simple, look, a sincere acknowledgement goes a long way. Now, once your proposal is complete, you have to go to the sharing option and uh, change the access to anyone with the link. Then you have to simply copy the link here and uh, go to a dev folio. Then go to the dashboard. Then uh, publish project. Then here you can add a project media like uh, UI UX design or diagrams related to that pro project. And if you don't have anything, simply submit a WOC logo here. Now, this is the section where you have to add a proposal link here. You can simply paste the link here 
and save it. You can add up to three proposals here and uh, all the other things are optional here and um, make sure to add uh, the technologies that you will use. You can simply uh, add from, from here and uh, market as uh, done. You can choose uh, your platforms. Then simply click on a uh, publish project here and your proposal will be submitted and make sure your link is accessible or your proposal will not be reviewed. Before submitting, uh, read your proposal thoroughly, check clarity and grammar, make sure your plan is realistic. And remember, a strong proposal shows understanding, effort, and sincerity, not perfection. That's it for today's video. If you have any doubts, uh, you can simply reach out to us on our Discord and best of luck with your proposals.